Mexico wins this one. And Alex, it does not get easier for them. They advance to oh, play no. Team Japan in the semifinals. And this is honestly going to be Team Japan's biggest test yet. Because we've seen a Team Mexico exceed all of our expectations. I mean, they blew USA out of the water. But now they're going to go up against Roki Sasaki. They have Shohei Otani. He's not pitching anymore, but he has been swinging the bat amazingly. So it's going to be a tough battle for both Mexico and Team Japan in the semifinal. I, yeah, so Shohei right now is swinging the bat super well. The entire lineup is Roki Sasaki will be on the mound um, for the first time since pool play, obviously. Throws 102. If you haven't watched this guy pitch, probably means you're not waking up at 3 in the morning to watch him. I don't blame you, but you need to tune in to watch him pitch in this game. He is He's the real deal. We will be seeing him in the United States before too long. It's still, yep. still a couple of years to go. But we'll be seeing him in the United States. 102 miles an hour this guy throws. He's going up against a really good Team Mexico lineup. Not sure yet who Mexico is going to start on the mound, but their rotation has been one of the most undervalued things in this yep. tournament. Aside from maybe Team Japan, Mexico's pitching is has been lights out and one of the better rotations in the game. Team Japan on the other side of things, in my opinion... They're the most complete team in this entire tournament. Yep. You look at the lineup. Yeah, one through nine, they've been hitting pretty well. You got guys that are able to come off the bench and produce as well. Pitching-wise, yeah, Shohei Otani, Yu Darvish, names that we know there. Roki Sasaki even to a, a degree, names that we've started to know. Other than that, it's Yamamoto, Imanaga, um, Togo out of the bullpen. I've been blown away by guys out of the bullpen. Team Japan from top to bottom on their roster, offense, defense, pitching, bullpen, starting pitching, it doesn't matter. They're the most complete team in the tournament right now. Mexico has a tough, tough task ahead. But if they've proven anything, they took down USA pretty easily. Yep. Um, they're, they're playing good baseball. So, man, that's going to be a great matchup. And also remember, Japan played their pool play and their quarterfinal game in Japan. So now they are flying across the world to the United States to now play Mexico. So you have to imagine there's going to be a bit of jet lag. There's going to be just adjusting to the new time and the atmosphere and everything like that. What can we expect from this game, Japan versus Mexico? Well, the first thing you mentioned, is it's, it's real. That yeah. jet lag, especially coming this way yes. for them, is going to be tricky. Now, let's not pretend that they don't all have lay down sleep number mattresses probably on their plane. Definitely. They're able to lay down. They're probably able to get their sleep, but it will still be tough to adjust, which is why they have so much time in between their pool play game and their first game here, which is on Monday. Okay. So that does make sense. They gave them a good chunk of time. I know they're already here practicing in fields, um, getting, getting on their feet here. Getting acclimated. But the tournament was set up in a way to give them the time they need, which is fair in, the, in that aspect. But yeah. what, what we can expect here, I think we're going to see I think we're going to see a fairly low-scoring matchup, to be honest with you. So I, it's I, pitching. I, it's it's going to be a full pitching duel. I think so. Roki on the mound is... Yeah. <laughs> 102 is not easy to hit. Yeah. Um, it is very difficult to see. Funny thing about... I mean, just something that came to mind here. Okay. It happens pretty much when you're facing anybody in professional baseball. But hitting a baseball is so hard, especially at 102 miles an hour, literally down to the point, Alex, where you are timing your blinking. I would be in the box ah. and legitimately need to time my blinking. Yeah. Now they're going to face 102. Just don't blink. That's probably yeah. the answer. <laughs> Just don't blink at all. I'm so Tape pumped up for that game to, to see Roki Sasaki pitch for, I don't know this for a fact, but most likely his first time pitching in the United States. Okay. Uh, what a game it's going to be. Yeah, that's going to be epic.